The exhaust gas recirculation system, or EGR, is one of the most complex, temperamental, and expensive components in your modern diesel engine. When it works properly, you'll never even know it's there. But when it fails, it can leave you stranded with repair bills that easily cost more than most people's monthly salary. The frustrating part? Most EGR failures aren't due to manufacturing defects or normal wear and tear. They're caused by five simple habits that almost every driver practices without realizing the damage they're causing. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly what's harming your EGR system and how to prevent costly failures before they happen. You'll also discover why some drivers get 200,000 miles from their EGR systems while others face problems at just 60,000 miles. Make sure to stick around till the end because I'll be sharing the warning signs that your EGR system is already failing and what you can do about it before it's too late. Let's start with the biggest problem that almost every driver is guilty of. The short journey problem. If your daily routine involves quick trips to the grocery store, school runs, or short commutes under 10 minutes, this is slowly damaging your EGR system. Here's what's happening under your hood that car dealers don't want you to know. When you start your engine cold and only drive for a few minutes, the EGR system never reaches its optimal operating temperature. Think of it like trying to clean a greasy pan with lukewarm water instead of hot water. The carbon deposits that should burn off during normal operation just sit there, building up layer after layer. These short journeys create the perfect storm for carbon buildup because your engine never gets hot enough to complete a proper cleaning cycle. The EGR valve starts collecting sticky residue that eventually turns rock hard, and before you know it, your engine is running rough. Your fuel economy tanks, and that check engine light starts glaring at you. But here's where it gets worse. Cold engines run rich, meaning they pump more fuel than necessary into the combustion chamber. All that extra fuel creates more soot, more carbon, and more problems for your already struggling EGR system. And speaking of fuel, this brings us to the second major issue that's probably costing you thousands. The cheap diesel trap. You see those gas stations with prices 10 cents cheaper per gallon and think you're being smart with your money. You're not. You're feeding your engine junk food and wondering why it's getting sick. Cheap fuel isn't just about octane ratings, it's about the additive package that comes with quality fuel. Premium fuel brands spend millions developing detergents and cleaners that actually scrub your engine internals while you drive. When you buy the cheapest fuel you can find, you're skipping these cleaning agents entirely. Here's what actually happens when you consistently use low-quality fuel. The combustion process becomes dirtier, producing more soot and carbon particles. These particles don't just disappear, they coat your EGR valve, clog your intake ports, and create a snowball effect of problems throughout your engine. Quality fuel burns cleaner, produces less soot, and contains detergents that help prevent carbon buildup. The small price difference at the pump is nothing compared to the cost of cleaning or replacing a clogged EGR system. But even if you use premium fuel, the third habit will still damage your system. Neglecting oil change intervals. That little sticker in your windshield says you're good for another 3,000 miles, but your EGR system is already crying for help. Most people follow manufacturer service intervals religiously, but those intervals assume perfect driving conditions that just don't exist in the real world. When you stretch oil changes beyond what your engine actually needs, several things happen simultaneously. Old oil breaks down and becomes less effective at lubricating engine components. This leads to increased wear, which creates more metal particles floating around your engine. These particles eventually find their way into your EGR system. But here's the kicker. Degraded oil also affects combustion quality. Poor combustion creates more soot, and that soot has to go somewhere. Your EGR system becomes a collection point for all this contamination. Drivers who change their oil every 5 to 6,000 miles instead of following extended service intervals report dramatically fewer EGR problems. The extra oil changes cost maybe $200 per year, but a new EGR valve and the labor to install it can cost over 1000 Now here's a habit that might surprise you because most people think they're being gentle with their car. The gentle driving mistake. You baby your car. You never push it hard. You accelerate gently, drive way below speed limit, and think you're extending its life. You're actually harming it in ways you don't realize. Modern engines, especially diesel engines, are designed to run hot and hard occasionally. They need what engineers call an Italian tune-up, a good hard run that burns off carbon deposits and clears out the exhaust system. When you constantly drive like you're carrying a birthday cake in the back seat, your engine never reaches the temperatures and pressures needed for self-cleaning. The EGR system relies on these periodic high-temperature excursions to burn off accumulated carbon. 
Think about it this way. If you never cleaned your house and just kept adding more stuff, eventually you couldn't move around anymore. Your EGR system works the same way. Without periodic high temperature cleaning cycles, carbon just keeps building up until the system stops working. This doesn't mean you should drive like a maniac, but occasional spirited driving on the highway actually helps keep your EGR system clean and functioning properly. And finally, the habit that multiplies all the other problems. Using incorrect oil specifications. You walk into the auto parts store and grab whatever oil is on sale. After all, oil is oil, right? Wrong. Using the wrong oil specification is like feeding your engine the wrong nutrients. Modern engines with EGR systems require specific oil formulations with low sulfur content and specialized additive packages. These oils are engineered to handle the increased contamination that EGR systems create. When you use conventional oil or the wrong specification, you're setting up a chain reaction of problems. Wrong oil creates more deposits during combustion. These deposits clog your EGR valve faster. A clogged EGR valve creates more combustion problems, which creates more deposits, which makes the oil break down faster. It's a vicious cycle that ends with expensive repairs. The oil specification isn't just a suggestion, it's a requirement for proper EGR system function. Using the correct oil with the right additive package can double or triple the life of your EGR components. Warning signs. Your EGR system is already failing. Before we wrap up, let's talk about the early warning signs that your EGR system is starting to struggle. Catching these symptoms early can save you from a complete system failure and much higher repair costs. The first sign is rough idling or engine hesitation, especially when you're sitting at traffic lights or in stop and go traffic. Your engine might feel like it's struggling to maintain a steady idle speed. This happens because a partially clogged EGR valve can't control exhaust gas flow properly. Another early warning is reduced fuel economy. If you notice you're filling up more frequently than usual, your EGR system might be causing your engine to work harder than it should. A malfunctioning EGR valve disrupts the precise air fuel mixture your engine needs for efficient combustion. You might also notice a metallic knocking or pinging sound during acceleration, particularly when climbing hills or carrying heavy loads. This occurs when the EGR system isn't reducing combustion temperatures effectively, causing the fuel to ignite at the wrong time. Black or excessive exhaust smoke is another red flag. While some diesel engines naturally produce more visible exhaust than petrol engines, an increase in smoke density or frequency often indicates EGR problems that are affecting combustion quality. Here's the bottom line. Your EGR system isn't the best invention, but it's doing exactly what it was designed to do. Reduce emissions and help your engine run cleaner. But it needs your help to stay healthy. Stop making short trips your daily routine when possible. Invest in quality fuel with proper additives. Change your oil more frequently than the manufacturer suggests. Give your engine an occasional workout on the highway. And always use the correct oil specification for your engine. Follow these guidelines, and your EGR system will quietly do its job for hundreds of thousands of miles. Ignore them and start saving for that repair bill, because it's coming sooner than you think.